Hi, I'm Dave, and I'm an advisor at the Green Center. Today, we're going to talk about virtual interviewing. Due to everything surrounding COVID-19, more employers are moving their interviews to virtual platforms such as Zoom and Skype. Thus, today, we're going to talk about best practices that you can use to be successful in these interviews. Let's get started. The first step is prepare in advance. Just like you would do in an in-person interview, you want to prepare ahead of time. This means researching the employer and connecting the skills and qualifications that best match your profile. You can do this by looking at the company website, researching the LinkedIn company page, looking at peer reviews of the company and the internship or job that you're looking at, and any other company news coverage. Another really important piece of the puzzle is knowing your own story and being able to tell it. This means looking at your resume and application and understanding how your skills and qualifications best match what the employer is looking for. Next, let's talk about first impressions. You've heard it before and you'll hear it again many times over, that first impressions are very important, especially for virtual interviews. Thus, remember to show up on time. You aren't showing up in person for this interview, but you want to make sure you log in at least five minutes prior to the start of the call, so that, that way you're ready to go. Thus, make sure that your technology is all up to date in terms of software packages, in terms of the program that you're going to be using, either Zoom, Skype, or any other program. Make sure that your laptop or any other technology is fully charged, so that, that way you don't have any problems with battery usage. And make sure that you have done a test call with a trusted friend or family member to make sure there's no kinks in your connection. While we're at it, let's talk about background. You want to make sure that the video is clear and crisp the entire time that you're on the call. This means looking behind you to make sure that there's no distracting images or posters or decorations, that the interviewer is going to be completely solely focused on you as the interviewee. You also want to make sure that your audio is clear. So that way there's no distracting noises or uh, conversations happening around you. So make sure you talk to your roommates or housemates to make sure that they know that you're having this video call at this time. Make sure also, if you have house pets like myself, that those cats or dogs are not going to distract you like a cat jumping up in front of the screen or a dog barking. So make sure that you have some way to put them aside for the time being and then return to them later and say hi. Finally, we should probably dress for success, right? Even remotely, this is an interview. Thus, let's try to get out of those sweatpants or pajamas that we've been wearing this whole time. This can boost your confidence and get your head in the game for the interview. Okay, now we're in the interview itself. So make sure that it's just like you are doing an interview in person. This means looking at the camera, just like you would do at someone's face. So establish eye contact the entire time with the camera, so that, that way they can see your eyes and Maybe add some head nods to affirm what they're saying the entire time that they're saying it. It might also be helpful to have a handwritten notebook nearby or post-it notes or some sort of piece of paper handy. So you can take some notes while they're talking and also write down any questions that you have for the interviewer, either during the interview or during the end of the interview. If it makes sense for your interview, make sure you also have at the ready a portfolio that's online, or a website, or any other samples of online works that you want to show your interviewer. In addition, you want to have a number of sample questions at the ready. This will show initiative and genuine interest. One of the most important things that I would say to any student or anyone doing an interview is to make sure you stay connected with your interviewer even after you say goodbye. So make sure you send a thank you note through email within 24 to 48 hours after your interview ends. Make sure you also stay abreast of any developments of your application um, through Handshake or any other job posting websites. Make sure you also follow up within two weeks after the interview to just get any updates with your interviewer. This will show interest and guide your conversation in terms of next steps. By taking these steps, you should be ready for any interview, even virtually. If you'd like to practice your skills with a career advisor, schedule an appointment through Handshake. We'd love to practice with you. Good luck.